story tonight. Louisiana legislators are returning to the Capitol Tuesday for a veto override session that will likely overturn the governor's decision against anti-LGBTQ plus legislation. Fox 14's Nick Summer joins us live in the studio with more information. Nick, what can you tell us about the session? Well, all the 28 bills Governor John Bell Edwards rejected are now back on the table. Among them, three controversial anti-LGBTQ plus bills. Of course, the, the ones that are being framed as being anti-LGBTQ, uh, but th there are so many other things the governor vetoed that actually have a, a far bigger impact on the lives of uh, the average Louisiana. In, in fact, there's the three bills that are being uh, framed that way. Uh, first of all, they, they are really solutions in search of a problem. The Republican-dominated legislature passed bills that ban transgender medical procedures on children and require parents to submit a form for their child to use a name other than the one on their birth certificate. Queer advocacy groups fought against those measures. This being an election year, any lawmaker who is up for re-election and doesn't vote to override these vetoes uh, could have a rough go of it come October. Another bill attempted to ban the discussion of gender identity in classrooms, which is Louisiana's version of what LGBTQ plus activists say is the equivalent to Ron DeSantis's Don't Say Gay bill. There, there are so many other things the governor vetoed uh, that, that really have uh, a more vital impact on uh, the lives of Louisianans. It's no secret that it was a punitive step uh, against lawmakers who didn't go along with his agenda in the last session. Governor Edwards vetoed the anti-LGBTQ plus bills and said that passing the litigation could have negative impacts on the queer and trans community and also raise suicide rates. The issue of what pronouns uh, children use in schools, uh, well, I, I understand why that's a, an important issue to some people. Uh, that, that really is not going to have that much of an effect on very many people. Uh, moreover, those, those uh, anti-LGBT uh, bills some of them are extremely poorly constructed, and they're just an invitation to, to litigation. In order for any of the bills to take effect, a two-thirds majority approval is needed from both the House and Senate. Reporting live in the studio for Local News That Matters, I'm Nick Summer.